Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about integrating over holes and jumps that are in function. So let's take a look at what we're talking about. Um, so you might see something that maybe looks like this. So this is a jump discontinuity because the limit from the left exists, the limit from the right exists. Uh, they're both finite, but they're not equal. So it doesn't actually matter uh, which of the points is filled in or if neither of them is filled in. Um, so that's a jump discontinuity. Uh, and we're gonna say it's happening at two. And an equation for it might look something like maybe uh, the function is two until you get to two, and then uh, negative one minus one fourth x when x is greater than two. Um, and so I put the equality on the less than part, and you can see that reflected in the graph by the solid dot there. Um, or you might see something like this. So this is a removable discontinuity or a hole. Um, so the equation for this, uh, let's say this is happening at negative one, might look something like uh, f of x equals two x squared plus five x plus three all over x plus one. So looking at just the equation before you get going with it, you might not know that there's a removable discontinuity, so we're gonna have to deal with that. But then the question that you're asked would be to find the definite integral of these functions. So definite integral from zero to four of uh, this one, which has its jump. Um, so to deal with this, what we're gonna do is just break it up, right? So it has a jump discontinuity because it's really a piecewise function. Um, so we're gonna break it up at the breaking point and do the integral from zero to two of f of x dx plus the integral from two to four of f of x dx. So if we do that, um, now we just have to identify which part of the function to use. So um, from zero to two, f of x is actually just equal to two, right? Because anything less than or equal to two, the function itself is equal to two. So that's a little confusing. I should use a different number, but um, we do that plus the integral from two to four, but from two to four, the function is negative one minus uh, one fourth x and then dx. So now what you do is each of those separately and you add them up. So that's how you're gonna deal with a jump discontinuity. Just break it up into as many integrals as you need as long as they're jump discontinuities. So that means the limit from the left exists and it's finite, the limit from the right exists and it's finite, but they're not equal to each other. That's a jump and you can break it up into multiple parts, uh, do each integral, add up the uh, final value. So I'm not gonna make you watch that, but these are the two values you would get and then the final value is one half in this example. Okay, so that's a jump discontinuity. Removable discontinuities are a little different. First, you have to recognize that it's removable, and the way you do that um, is usually you do some algebra. So we're gonna do the integral from negative two to zero of f of x dx. So negative two to zero, you can kind of see that there's a problem with the function if you're just looking at that instead of the graph. And the problem is uh, at x equals negative one because if you didn't have the graph, you might think that's a vertical asymptote and then you'd be in trouble, uh, especially in calc A, B. If you're in B, C, you might have to do an improper integral on that. Um, but in this example, we already know from the graph, that's not gonna happen. So to deal with this, algebraically, what I try to do is factor. If I'm trying to factor and I think there's a removable discontinuity, then X plus one should be a factor of the numerator because it's a factor of the denominator, I'm gonna cancel it out. So. Uh, I'm gonna go with plus three and plus one. If we check that, we get two x plus three x is five x, so it works. You can definitely, uh, well, this is over x plus one. You can definitely cancel the x plus ones, and then just remember that when you cancel it, x still can't be negative one for the function. There's no value of the function here, um, but the thing is really exactly the same as two x plus three. It just has this one little point discontinuity um, removal discontinuity or a hole at x equals negative one. So we can actually, um, you can actually just integrate straight over that. Um, so I'm going to replace f of x with two x plus three and actually do that integral. So again, I'm not gonna make you watch that, just fundamental theorem for this one. Um, and we get two. So the main takeaway from this is if you have a removable discontinuity, you can actually integrate straight over it. Um, you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure it's actually removable and not a vertical asymptote. So um, the takeaway from the video is uh, you can actually just integrate right over a jump or a removal discontinuity. Kind of have to deal with them differently, right? So jump discontinuity, break it into pieces, do each piece and add those up. Uh, removal discontinuity, you know, just, just straight go for it. 
All right, so uh, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.